good morning everyone today we are going to begin with the fourth chapter of geography that is vegetation and wildlife in this chapter we will be paying emphasis to the topics such as ecosystem classification of plants various types of forest and their distribution in india conservation of natural vegetation and wildlife as we know natural vegetation and wildlife are found in the narrow zone called biosphere where lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere interact natural vegetation is one of the greatest natural resources of earth the plants that grow naturally are known as natural vegetation the climate and the relief feature are the main factors on which the growth of the natural vegetations depend wildlife refers to the animal bird and organism that live in their natural habitat natural vegetation is useful to us in the following ways first it provide timber and firewood it provides natural habitat for animals it helps in storing underground water it provides a large variety of products from the trees it protects soil from leaching it produces oxygen which is essential for life now let us learn the first topic that is un- understanding ecosystem ecosystem usually form a number of food webs different types of plants and animal living together under similar environmental condition make up a biome a biome comprises all the ecosystem within a specific geographical area biomes are not defined by genetic taxonomic or historical similarities biome are identified with particular patterns of ecological suspension and climatic climatic vegetation biomes are found on land as terrestrial biomes and in water as fresh water biomes and marine biomes terrestrial biomes coincide roughly with the broad climatic region of the world biomes do not have sharply defined boundaries as they merge with each other plants are fixed to the soil and may not survive very harsh climatic condition but animals stands better chance of surviving difficulties with their ability to migrate change the color of their hair or skin or by hibernation or estivation now what does hibernation means hibernation means long winter sleep by some animals for example snake lizard etc and estivation long summer sleep of some animals for example crocodiles frogs earthworms and etc climate has a major role to play in the variety of plants and animals found in a region it also affects the behavior of animals their adaptations availability of food their habitats of migration and hibernation now let us learn with the next topic that is natural vegetation many varieties of plants grow on earth plants need air water sunlight and nutrient from the soil to grow and prepare their own food the growth of vegetation is controlled by moisture and temperature these essential thing vary from place to place thereby giving rise to different types of vegetation we can broadly classify the natural vegetation into forest grasslands and shrubs forest forests are clusters of tree that grow close to each other a true forest is that in which trees grow so close to each other that their canopies touch and do not let the sunlight to pass through forests mostly grow in hot and humid climate forest forest may be classified into the following three types forest in tropical region forest in temperate region and forest in taiga region forest in tropical region the tropical for region has mainly two types of forest the tropical evergreen forest and the tropical deciduous forest 
the tropical evergreen forest are found in the equatorial region because the equator equatorial region is hot and wet throughout the year as the growing season lasts throughout the year the vegetation is varied and rich ranging from tall trees with thick canopies to ferns and mosses the trees are broad leaves and evergreen because in the absence of dry season there is no need to reduce transpiration hardwood trees like mahogany ebony rosewood etc grow here these forests are found in zaire basin of africa the amazon basin of south america and in the parts of mexico central america and east southeast asia tropical evergreen forests are also known as selvas in the amazon basin the tropical deciduous forests are found in the monsoon region where winters are cool and dry and summers are hot with a distinct rainy season brought by brought on by the summer monsoon winds sal teak sandalwood and bamboo are commercial valuable trees which grow mainly in the monsoon forest many varieties of eucalyptus are found in northern australia these type of forest are found in india southern china parts of southeast asia and central america eastern brazil and north australia tropical deciduous forest are also called monsoon forest that's all for today rest of the topic we will be covering in the next video thank you